welcome back to another video. I'm recording this just using my phone so it might sound a bit rubbish um, but it's because I don't have my microphone with me. This video is a compilation of all the things I managed to get filmed just before I kind of went on holiday. I'm kind of on holiday now. So the video isn't as jam-packed with art as I'd like it to be. Usually my videos have lots and lots of art going on in them but this one I wasn't really the best with filming and the things I was doing were hard to film so I didn't really get that many clips of them but I've managed to pull together a video it's you know not as filled with art as my usual ones but I hope you still enjoy it if I didn't make a video with this footage I wouldn't be able to make a video for like the next few weeks because I'm on holiday like I said so this is what I've managed to make with the footage I had I hope you enjoy also there probably won't be much voiceover in throughout this video because I don't have my mic but there is a lot of real time speaking I should also explain before this video gets started what I'm doing because I just jumped straight into it without any explanation. I'm making the packaging for my paper craft kit which I've been working on. If you've been following my videos for a while on my Instagram you'll know all about it because I haven't stopped banging on about it for like the past five months um, but I'm making a DIY paper craft book hotel kit for my final project at uni. In this video I'm making the packaging for it and then in the second half of the video I make little felted insects which will live inside the model. I do recommend if this is like the first video of mine that you've watched, maybe hopping back a few videos so you kind of know more about what's going on. I hope you enjoy and I'll probably speak to you at the end. So I'll give you a little bit of an update of where I'm at. I'm kind of the recording now following on from the last video so not really much time has passed since I stopped filming for that video and started filming for this video. What I have done is I had a big day of printing Oh, I also did a back cover for the packaging. So this is what art you saw me doing in the last video, making the art for this and then I made a back cover and then I had a big day of printing lots of different attempts slightly tweaking the colours on each attempt although it's probably not going to show up on camera. These are my choices for the spine of the packaging. This is the packaging for my product, the front cover, the back cover and then this is the spine colour. It's going to be like a folder so I'm basically kind of building a hardback book. I'm making that without the book in the middle so I'm basically making a hard, is that the right word? Hardback cover? that's empty inside but there will be a pocket in here which holds the contents of the product which is basically all this stuff. This was my um, makeshift packaging that I made but now I'm making like the proper packaging and then the ribbon is for the side of the folders. I'm going to put a little bit of ribbon like that and then you'll be able to tie the folder shut because I'm thinking of using this colour for the spine but I think it's weird to have, I don't know if them two really go together because I was also um, thinking about having red for the spine because there's a lot of red accents on here so maybe I'll do that. I need to figure it out but um, at the moment I'm leaning towards this, we'll see what I decide. On the inside of the folder my plan is to just cover it with a sheet of green paper and then I'm hoping I can paint a cute design on that paper using some gold ink that I've bought. So it'll be shiny and it'll kind of be like a little repeat pattern almost on the inside. Oh, and then I'll show you what my pocket design is gonna be. So there's gonna be a pocket that holds all of this inside. And this is what the pocket looks like. I basically took the side panels of the model and I just overlapped them and that's gonna be the pocket. Okay, so I've been a bit rubbish at filming, sorry about that. I had a friend come round and I was just chatting to her whilst I was doing all this work, um, so I didn't film any of it. I'll show you a little update. I have glued together all these pieces. Um, getting this spine on was a very difficult task and I had so many failed attempts because I kept putting it on wonky and peeling it off and then I had to rip the, the paper would rip and I had to do it all again and it's not the cleanest if you look up close. From my first attempt I'm pretty pleased with it and I'm really happy with how this looks. I'm actually surprised at how professional this looks like this looks like an actual book cover. So what I'm working on now which I'm hopefully not gonna forget to film is doing the repeat pattern on the inside of here. I did a few sketches yesterday just on the train so they're a bit wonky of some ideas. I like the idea of this. I basically I was taking shapes that I've been using a lot in my collages so I use a lot of a square that's had a circle cut out of it. I use that a lot and then just all these little 
long curvy pieces. I used them throughout the entire model so I thought they would be good to use on the repeat pattern that I'm going to do. I like this but I was testing it out just on, on a spare sheet and I think it's a little bit too busy. Like if this was across the whole thing it'd be way too busy. So what I'm going to go for for the actual thing is the same shapes but just more spread out. I'm using this ink. This is Winsor & Newton Gold Ink not really coming across on camera but it's really shiny in real life. I'm gonna paint that on this sheet here and that's gonna get stuck across the whole inside of this and then this is the pocket which will hold all of it in so repeat pattern, pocket, glue everything together. I need to sandwich the ribbon in between this and the front of the cover. Remember to do that, that is important. So I'm gonna get painting the pattern now. The following morning I stayed up a little bit too late working on this. I think I went to bed around two o'clock. This, the flap, the pocket <laughs> that holds everything in, I, I took a lot longer than I thought it would. It was very fiddly to do because I, this card is really thick. I ended up gluing like three layers of card together to get this to be, you know, really sturdy and thick and then trying to fold that card was very hard because it was so thick and then I had to make like a custom little shape for the bottom out of just um, the same card that this is so that it would be thinner on the inside for putting the paper in because it was a, if there was like a chunky piece of card folded inside of there everything would just catch whilst you're trying to put things in so I had to do this with the much thinner card. I'm really happy with how this pattern turned out. I did paint the entire thing so even like down here I painted this pattern even though you're never gonna see there unless you're looking inside the pocket but it's nice to know that the entire thing is painted. It goes all behind here and all down inside the pocket. What I'm gonna do today is do some felting. Down there I've, I've bought a bunch of felt um, and I'm going to make some tiny little felted insects. So that's my job for today and tomorrow.
bread running off with that thing. Do you see it? It's like running off with a bit of bread in its mouth. And everyone's like chasing it. Ha! It's running off with the bread. <laughs> ha! It really is. Funny. So I'm going to give you a big update of everything that I've done because I've not really filmed much. It's kind of tricky to film, especially because I was doing it on my bed. Um, it's really hard to film because the process is so slow as well. I'd have to record like a 30 minute clip to show any kind of progress. At the moment they all look a little bit odd because none of them have heads, but I'll be getting to that just after I've shown you what I've done. I've got the ladybird which I think might be my favourite, although I do really like the bee as well. I ended up just using wool for the arms and legs and you can just like felt it straight in um, and it will just stay, so that's really handy. And I think it looks so cute, I wanted it to look kind of exactly like how I draw them with just the little stick arms and I thought wool would do that the best. I'll probably end up adding a little bit of glue on the edges just to stop it because obviously it can fray quite a lot. I did it on these legs here, I just, I put a bit of PVA glue on my fingers and I just like ran it through the string and then that stops it from fraying on the edges. So I'll probably do that for all of them. I've got a butterfly, The that's the body piece, I'm just going to like glue that there. I wanted to make all the butterflies on this piece because these are the three butterflies that I've used throughout the whole piece um, so I ended up making all of them this one I made way too big but hopefully it will I'll find a way for it to fit into the model I think it'd be it's too big to kind of work with any of the furniture other than maybe the stools but I don't have any of the furniture with me so it's a bit hard to judge the size I'm just kind of guessing this took me an entire day to do so in the time it took me to do one of these I did all of these. I did this in one day. I did this the next day. This bee I think is really cute. I love the way I did this body bit and I was like merging colours together to try and create gradients and I love the stripes. I was trying to do it exactly like um, the stripes on the way I collage it. They're all wonky in different widths so I was trying to do that on this guy. These two go together. These two go together. Oh, this is an ant. It looks a bit weird without the head, but that's an ant. Again, trying to um, felt it exactly like how I do the ants in my um, collages. So for the heads, I've made a bunch of these little clay balls just out of air dry clay. I made them yesterday, so they should all be dry by now. Um, I made a lot of different choices just so I had some a lot to choose from. It will look something like that when it's done. I'm going to paint these all black and paint little faces on them just like a really simple dot dot smile. I made a little semicircle one for the bee. It'll go something like that. I made these are way too small as well. I made some that are just way too small. <laughs> little pea head. Um, I'm going to get painting these now and do faces on them and then glue everything together. Oh, I'm also going to have to do antennas on these. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to drill a little hole into this and then with the string just kind of fold that in half and then just hopefully jam it into the hole and it will stay. So these are all the finished insects. I couldn't be more pleased with them. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm obsessed with them. I just keep looking at them. I think their faces turned out so cute. I love a simple dot dot smile and I'm obsessed with their little um, string arms and legs. They're so floppy and cute. 
I haven't put them in the model yet because I don't have it with me because it's at uni but I will be tomorrow because I'm going traveling into uni tomorrow and I can't wait to like sit them inside the model um, hopefully they fit the orange butterfly definitely will be too big but I feel like everything else will fit I think the bee will be a little bit difficult to actually put on furniture because it's I don't know it, it's, it's very round on the bottom but I feel like everything else especially like the ant and the ladybird will fit really nicely in the house on sorry the bug hotel um so i'll take pictures of that have a lovely little photo shoot of them all sitting inside the house and i'll probably put it on my instagram my instagram story so you might have seen that maybe or oh, also i want to know your opinions on if i was to make these insect designs into magnets or like little um ornament hangy things for and sell them on my etsy shop because i love them so much and i would I think it'd be very cute to have a little ladybird magnet on my fridge <laughs> or maybe like um, pins I'm not quite sure how that would work though anyway that's a thought in my head I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and I'll see you soon